Hey guys, Kimberly here with the Artistic Frog. I'm in my kitchen tonight, I'm getting ready to pull out some beeswax and the fishies that I did. I've got one. I have that one. Um, so I already have my water at a simmer. I have already put the uh, washing powder in there. That simply helps break up the wax. And um, I have something to stir this around with, just an old paint stick that we had. Um, and I have a little scoop over here to scoop out the wax. And um, that's what this is. When the wax rises to the top, scoop it off and put it in the bucket here. So let's get started. It is way too hot to be doing this outside. A window of opportunity passed last week. It was beautiful, beautiful weather. And uh, just had other things going. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm glad this is doing this. One thing to note. Um, this beeswax that I have been using on these, um, they are, it's the filtered beeswax that you get, well, I got mine from, um, from Hobby Lobby. And it does really interesting things that unfiltered beeswax does not do. Um, just thought I might mention that. Um, and if I'm in a bind and a pinch and maybe I have a lot of background and things like that to do, um, I might use this wax again. But I think getting the unfiltered beeswax is, is well worth the price. over here um, try to help keep my counter clean uh, it just is acting different this this filtered beeswax um, it's really hard to get the filtered wax out of uh, whatever you're whatever you're using that looks like it released really really nicely um, the other one that I did this sunflower it just I could not get the wax to release. That actually looks really, really good. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Um, sorry for the noise. Going to turn the fan on here. Okay. So, for those of you who, who may not have watched this process before, what we try to do is get the optimal temperature where the wax is going to release from the fabric and it's going to float to the top and you just skim that off and you can pour it in your bucket. This is beeswax and hot water so um, I 
would not suggest putting it uh, down the sink in your drains. Uh, that would make a really big mess. Very expensive mess. Um, when the wax hardens. So, so we just want to try to get all the wax off the top there that we can so it won't attach itself to the fabric as it's coming out. I forgot to. Let's use this other one here. organized before I did this. Okay, there's more wax. I thought it was all out. There's more wax floating to the top. And what I had to do with the um, the sunflower uh, and I saw somebody do this or suggested doing this and I do not. It was so long ago when I first started um checking out all the videos online about batik they were um, they had mentioned that you could compl completely submerge your fabric into the water make sure nothing is on the top and it does like to float um, and then turn the heat off and let it sit overnight and um, the wax comes to the top and and as it cools you could just come in in the morning or you know sometime later when it's cool and just um, skim all the wax off the top so that's what I had to do with the other one and I may have to do it with this one too um, really don't know that this um, this filtered beeswax is um, worth the convenience of buying it, going to the store and not having to search and hunt and, and look for it. So uh, I am gonna go ahead and try to take that out. I don't want this video to be really, really long. I really don't see any wax anywhere in that. Um, I think that is just a very, very sharp design. A lot of contrast in there. That's really good. So I am really pleased with that one. I can't wait to show you what that one's going to look like. Let's get this other one in here really quick. And the detail in that. Isn't that fun? Um, I purchased these, they call them dish towels, at Dick's Bob and Dom in Branson, Missouri. I know you can get them online at all different kinds of places, but um, it's kind of nostalgic and I spent a lot of time in that store. <laughs> it's so cool. And I uh, was just tickled when I found when I found something that I could batik. Um, so I could have probably gotten them cheaper online somewhere, but just, uh, just the fact that we were there and as a remembrance of our trip, um, it's really good. Our drug screen business takes us to many different places. And um, so it's a, it's a blessing to be at home and have time to do this. And uh, things are getting really busy with, um, with the drug screen business. We are getting ready to open up a, um, an office. And, um, and do collections at the office.
for the past 20 years, we have always traveled to wherever the company was, and we actually did the testing on site there, or the collection process there, and then send it off to a lab. So it's kind of fascinating. Um, the Lord just kind of uh, laid that in our laps. Was um, He opened a door that we didn't even know was there. I got a phone call one day, and um, I had resigned from the laboratory that I was working for, and um, I was going to stay at home and raise my son instead of putting him in daycare. And got this call out of the blue, you know, from the sales rep, the company that I used to work for, and um, she said, would you, would you like to do this? Uh, Part-time. It's not a full-time job. They call you occasionally and, and you go out and um, collect and and uh, FedEx it to the lab. So, started out the first year by myself. I wasn't really that busy, so um, it... Uh, it was wonderful to be able to stay at home with my son and uh, occasionally get a sitter for him for a couple of hours. Uh, sometimes it was just for an hour. Um, but yeah, he's been blessing that business all along and um, we're very thankful and very grateful. And uh, by me not punching a clock, it has given me the opportunity to be able to start this boutique business. Uh, I'm hoping that once we get this, our office situated and everything set up and going well, that um, I will be able to concentrate more on my batiks. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? I so love this process. Um, that's just, can y'all can see that really close? Look at that. Get that up there close to you. Very hot, steamy. Isn't that pretty, those details? Okay, so, um, in um, doing the, um, this and the drug screen business, trying to get everything going together, um, I am having to learn some stuff. Um, how to do computer stuff and I'm going to be getting um, our other company online and um, so I hope in all of this process that I will be able to um, learn how to set up my own website and, um, and start selling my boutiques. I've been trying to do that now for over a year and uh, just never have, just never have. So. Um, if y'all would be praying about that, um, the wisdom, need lots of wisdom um, for both of these businesses. So um, I'm glad y'all joined me. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.